So uh, we wanted to show a few things here. Uh, we want to show some new stuff that we haven't really shared with anyone yet. One of the things that we want to showcase is the new uh, Veggie Village hub. We worked pretty hard on all the different hubs, but uh, Veggie Village is a, was a really strong one for us. We have new story beats, new cinematics, new intros, um, and it's, I think it's just a better approach uh, and a better introduction to that level. I just want to give you a cursory runaround through it because then I'd love to show a level within Veggie Village called Ripe Rollers. It's uh, one of our 2D levels. And we haven't introduced them, but our friends here today mm -hmm. are, we have Matt Burke and Taylor Sutton. How's it going? Yeah. Thanks for having me. That's uh, Winnie right there. Winnie the dog. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and they're responsible for the glorious art that you see here. This is Tess. Uh, this is one of her new cinematic intros. Where you really get to know exactly who she is. They've really messed up this intro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this looks amazing. I love this. <laughs> that's, awesome. that's her in a nutshell. Yeah. yeah. A tinker, obviously, that's constantly making new things that are. Do they often fail? Is that yeah. or in? They're just very uh, Rube Goldberg esque. <laughs> they have a lot of pieces, a lot of moving pieces. She has grand ideas. Uh, but they all, they, they kind of uh, go awry at some point or other. She loves optimization and she doesn't understand why these wormholes would be operating the way they are. She has her own mission, go find more pages uh, for Jinx. But while she's here, she just really can't help but kind of stir things up in the pursuit of, uh, <laughs> in the pursuit of optimization and stuff. Yeah, this is Sheriff uh, Wilford Wormel. I love how the, the sunglasses frame the mustache just perfectly. <laughs> yeah. just, it's, there's, just just, there's, no, there's no nose, so it just frames just the mustache. What are they <laughs> resting on? Then? His mustache. They're just, uh, yeah. yeah, they have the two little smooth. protectors for yeah. the mustache that yeah. they sit on it. Is the Sheriff actually saying anything, or is it all just kind of like, uh, well, yeah, you know. Yeah. There is a Wormel, uh, a Wormel language, but it's not a, um, it's not like we went uh, all Lord of the Rings on it. Like, yes, exactly. This is the entire yeah. 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 thing, so bring out your um, dictionaries or whatever. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, it has a certain set of phonemes and stuff that are uh, that are interesting. Awesome. Um, this is Pete the Portal Golem, hey. and so you uh, you rescue him earlier, uh, and he follows you. All the Gollum buddies actually follow you from world to world. Okay. They're, they're going on the same journey you are, essentially. So, so one of the things I wanted to call out was just from, uh, we wanted to, to really open up this space and give it a sense of uh, playgroundiness and exploration. Mm -hmm. So um, we've got all our different levels laid out. We're going to check out Ripe Rollers when we get to it, but um, we just wanted lots of little, <laughs> here's a potato, an electric <laughs> potato, because uh, it and. Uh, there's a lot to uh, run around and discover. We've hidden some coins and things that um, there's a set number in each hub, so you can actually go and find all the secrets, and then they're gone. You know, so you will have uh, collected all of them. Here's uh, uh, here's Greg. Giovanni is who provides you with all the different costumes. And are there new new costumes like per each like level or world, or is it, it's kind of there's yes. a ton of different different ones to collect. The answer and... is yes. There are new costumes <laughs> yes. uh, across the board, um, and there's some that are unlocked on certain conditions, and there's some that you get. So he says, "Hey, I've got new costumes for you. Uh, just by reaching Veggie Village, you get uh, a new selection of costumes." So let's like see what's unlocked. Nineteen or twenty different costumes. Here's some wow. new ones. <clears throat> oh, and some more. Great. There we go. So we've got the adventurer outfit, uh, and we've got the kind of sheriff stuff. Nice. I think we have to get this one. This is right. That's a pretty good combo alone right there. Just, just <laughs> classic hockey. Got a fun part. Yeah. Oh, you're sure? Yeah. Good. yeah. That's good. <laughs> there he is. Looking good. Looking real good. <laughs> These pigs are, not a, everyone knows it, but they are Piggy from uh, the first Lucky's Tale. And Piggy was your buddy in the first Lucky's Tale. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they're just snoozing here now. It's a <laughs> little, little throwback. Yeah. Um, and then Tess has set up uh, in her own castle at the very end here. Um, they did some really cool, I really like the stained glass work of all of them. Uh, we have, yeah, many different levels here. Uh, Harvest Festival is what we showed at the E3. This is uh, Ripe Rollers, this is what I want to get into. This looks so smooth. Hey, DM, can you scooch back a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Consistency. So, Rep Rollers, 
what comes to mind when you see rare colors? Oh man, I love how he looks like he shrunk down almost the size of a worm on yeah. here, and you have this giant world around you with all the corn stalks right there. Yeah, the music in this is my absolute favorite. <laughs> Out of like every level, the music in, in Ripe Rollers is just this honky tonk hee haw uh, type. Oh yeah, spoiler yeah. alert, I'm going to be collecting some secrets here. So if you want oh. the unspoiled version of this game, look away. <laughs> what are those that you just jumped on? These are maters. Oh, <laughs> right. Bounce tomatoes. Wait, no. you don't jump on your tomatoes? <laughs> no, I'm just we I'll have to try now. <laughs> they are indeed bouncy. And then here's their uh, precious spiked fruit that they harvest, but are also hor horrifyingly dangerous. I love how the light just filters through the mm. socks. Yeah, one of our artists went to some time to dig one of, I think, Burke's old uh, corn socks or whatever in the populated in the back and then we just as soon as we saw that we thought oh my gosh we have to we have to put this on a level somewhere yeah <laughs> that's so they, very perfect they built them correctly and yeah. beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> for a 2d level the whole idea is that you just you want to give as much depth as, as possible right uh, you still want to tell that narrative story like even the platforms are really cool here too this is the only level we really introduced the, the plant like the little flower platform mm -hmm. on top here and we have different colors indicate their different responses yeah, to lucky one. which is really Whoa. neat <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should leave a secret. No. Okay. Show that. You All say right. it right next to it. <laughs> but I didn't say exactly what it was. Oh, oh that's cool. That. Whoa, the flower. Oh. oh. So are a lot of the little secrets within the game not always the most obvious? That was that's because that idea. seems like a very specific mm. like build mm -hmm. there. It's basically what draws you. Okay. So right now we have, uh, there's like a little wiggly board, you got an owl on it, so the little creature helps draw the eye, but, you know, as to what you actually have to do, uh, we leave that open for experimentation. Mm -hmm. um, you see it's rocking back and forth when you get on it, so um, if you want to try and experiment with pounding or diving into the ground, they're going to hit this. Now, let's see how well I do on this one. This one is, uh, is a tricky, tricky sequence. Oh, oh no. It's been a while. I haven't <laughs> No. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Maybe this is that oh. We restarted. Okay, here we go. We got this. It's that oh, one! So like, he is so. He's... Got it. Oh. Nice. Yeah, it's the other. Oh, oh my god! Nice. Well done. <laughs> Look at that. That is pro playing only, <laughs> only two times. No hacks, no chips. No hacks, yeah. I am not. Uh, <laughs> With other like mini games, whenever you see that clock, are you able to like try that as many times as yes. you want to? Yeah, we we basically as soon as if you if you fail or if you fall in the water, or whatever, we'll just restart it for you, and cool. you can you can choose to pick uh, to keep going or mm -hmm. or you can bail. Uh, a lot of the puzzles too, we <laughs> give you outlet valves. So if you find yourself in some sort of uh, puzzle that you're not prepared for, or you just don't want to do it right now, we let you get out of it. Uh, cool. Yikes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a great example of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh. Dan's no. gonna die. No. Dan, get out of here. Get these fruits out of here. Get the no. checkpoint. There we go. Woo. There we go. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what Under you guys control. are talking about. <laughs> All right. Ooh. So as you can tell, these are a lot more technical than our just kind of preform exploration levels. All right, give me the goods. <laughs> I love how the coins move up and down in this yeah, place here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I timed it wrong. Little secrets. I'm so glad it doesn't have to like, make you work, work for yeah. it all the way back around. Here <laughs> oh, you go, you've already horrible. earned your <laughs> So here's one of the, uh, yeah, here's one. I got one of the bonus uh, golds. So I found L-U-C-K-Y. I have found 300 coins, which is one of the goals as well. And I have found the hidden page, which was the result of that box holder. So I have so far 100% of this level. Yikes. <laughs> it's time to just get up. I've been snug with these groups here. So they've been holding on to a page for you. Okay. Yay. Yay! Celebration! Celebration. <laughs> Everyone's dancing. Happy time! <laughs> <laughs> it's a 
so yeah, satisfying. Yeah, everything. Look at that. 100%. <laughs> That's it. You yeah. guys. Just rock, rock in the shades. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's how you do it. Cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's Sweet. what we wanted to show. Just a little bit of the more technical side of it. This is early on in the game, so this is a uh, world two, and so it's you know it's not. I wouldn't call it like super intense hard, but it, it it's take your time. Well, you made it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> we play that things, once we, one time. We play these things a lot, but still yeah. we make mistakes. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's a uh, for me as a player, it's really refreshing to kind of move through all these different spaces. Right now I want to do a little bit of puzzling, now I want to go spend a lot of time in a big narrative level, now I want to do some technical stuff. And when you when you come back to the hub, we give you kind of a secondary look at the overall goal of each of these worlds, which is to collect enough pages to break the lock on the boss door so that at any point after that you can go challenge the boss or you can stick around and you go find some more secrets. So like you back. <laughs> Count door the pages. <laughs> Here we go. And there's the lock on the door. We can take it down. Okay. One step closer. Mm -hmm. And the inside of the doors too, does that show like everything you collect mm -hmm. in the level or what you might be missing? So, <laughs> exactly. Right. So it's at a glance, I'm running around. Which ones have I 100 percent in? You know, it's just a good uh, indicator yeah. for that. Right. And then, yeah, the characters that you meet inside, they always come out and they, uh, they celebrate with you. <laughs> Cool that all of that is still like a part of the world. It's not like an extra menu or overlay that you have in the hut or something like that. It's just right. it's, it's there. It belongs. We spent a lot of time on this. <laughs> yeah, we did both so versions. Of yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason it just the door. Sometimes you have to compare. Yeah. It just evolves a lot. There's a lot of passion time. behind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. There's still more time. changes I want to make to the game. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get to them. So there's more we could do. But it's but nice yeah. that it mimics that UI that's actually like in the mm -hmm. level too. So we yeah. try to make it match as much as we could. As consistent yeah. as possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then um, and we've hidden, you know, the the puzzles are all in these foxholes here. So they're a little bit more out of the way. You got to explore. Uh, we've even got uh, just a few more characters, uh, including this mysterious stranger. Oh, mm -hmm. that's easy. scary. It's a little interesting. You might want to talk to him. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Have some hidden coins there. And then, so are these like the worm characters? Are they specific to Veggie Village as well, mm -hmm. or did they pop? Okay. So, does every world kind of have its own unique set of like, NPCs and, or friends? Correct. Yes, yeah. But they do cross pollinate okay. on, on occasion. Okay. Right. He spends time in there, he meets everyone. The first world is the world of the golems. Mm -hmm. So, uh, then they live in Sky Castle. So, he brings essentially a little retinue with him. To the next world. What about that flame over there? Is that, oh. is that a character as well? Yes, he is a character. A uh, he is a he is a throwback to an earlier Lucky's Tale, but also uh, he has a little bit of narrative wrapped around him too. Uh, he isn't always here, and so if, if you play the game, you'll figure out how to unlock him. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's possible not to have him by this point, but he's uh, Giovanni's little pet. Just a dollop of magma. Yeah, <laughs> 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 it needs to be. Really. It's just uh, telling you, Calcifer. From yeah. I love Calcifer. Calcifer. In fact, when we started working on the original one, Calcifer was one of the inspirations for that. Just mm -hmm. something simple that we could do a lot with, you know, like big eyes and then just a gooey, good, distorty shape mm -hmm. that you can blob around. And mm -hmm. It worked really well. It works really well as a pet, too, considering they're rock, so it doesn't burn them or anything. Yeah, so it actually pulled it in really well. That's true. <laughs> but you got lots of little fun things here to interact with while you're just going from level to level, like you got the chicken coop over here, so you can give them a good tail swipe if you want to just <laughs> mess with them a little bit, they get dizzy, which yeah. is really cute, and sometimes they'll follow you around. But we try to give you fun things to explore in here to kind of set the tone of the world here, and then what the kitty litter are doing in each of the hubs, right? So it's really fun to just look around these spaces and see like hints mm -hmm. of tests all over the place. Awesome. Well, thanks, thanks for showing me, guys, yeah. and everyone else. I appreciate it.